Okay, Stephen, first of all, um, just an update on Sven Sprangler. You know, he's here now. Uh, is he likely to be in the squad then this weekend? Very hopeful. He's away to Manchester today to get the final part done. So, uh, hopefully, everything's went well. I've not heard anything yet. So, uh, we're hopeful that he can be involved. Once that's done, then it has to be put in the system and in the TMS, and then uh, hopefully the paperwork will be done and then he'll be available for the weekend. How <coughs> big an asset can he be for St Johnson, do you feel? Well, time will tell, but I think the first part he looks very good. He looks like he knows the game really well. He's not a young player, he's, he's very experienced and he's played at a high level as well. So and we're very happy with him. So. We're just looking forward to him to put him into a game now, so it's whether I do that at the weekend or whether it's at a later date, but he's ready, he's fit uh, and he's good to go. And just tell us about uh, Nicky Clark and Drew Wright, are they back to fitness, will they be included this weekend? Yeah, Drew Wright's available for selection, Nicky's not, he's not done enough yet, so he's not hitting um, the numbers that he may not hit yet, so uh, he won't be involved, but <coughs> excuse me, uh, Dre is available, he's uh, trained all week and looked good, so uh, another one that's uh, come well come back into the squad and available for selection. And obviously this weekend you face Hibs. Um, what's your thoughts heading into that game? And you know how big an incentive is it that a victory could get you off the foot of the table? Yeah, that's what we're looking for now. I think we need to put start putting points on the board. We need to start winning games of football. So we're looking forward to it. I think obviously Hibs. It's uh, they've got the new manager Nick Montgomery. So uh, yeah, it'll be different. We've watched his game against uh, Kilmarnock. So. Uh, we know sort of we've done a bit of work on him, so we've done a bit of work on Hibs as well and, and his old team, so we know what we're expecting. And uh, it's his, his first home game, so he'll be wanting a good performance from his team, so it's up to us to go there and stamp our authority on the game and, and look to win the game. How important is it for you to get to get that victory? Oh, it's massive. I think uh, not just for, for me, it's for the club and for the players as well. Hopefully that win will, win will uh, springboard us on to success and hopefully uh, build a bit of momentum as well, so that's what we're looking to do. And it's been tough games that you've had, um, but you know, do you take positives from the game last weekend against Rangers? Yeah, I think so. I think our shape was very good. I think in the moments that we had, in the second half especially, I think we possibly could have had two, two penalties. I think if the on-field decision was penalty, I don't think VAR would have overturned it. Uh, so uh, that's that's is what it is. You can't change that. But we had a, a couple of good other opportunities as well. So the goals we lost were poor, but I think there was a lot of positives to take from the game. And just how's your team news otherwise going into the game? Well, everybody's good to go. DJ's still uh, injured. Uh, obviously, Nicky Clark that we mentioned, and uh, but everybody else is fit and available. Thank you. Just on Hibs, obviously you spoke about they're under new management now under Nick Montgomery and I see someone you came up against in your playing career down south and a long time at Sheffield United. Yeah, I played in a derby against them, so uh, yeah, we had a few run-ins there and probably kicked each other, so yeah, no, but it'll be, it's, it's good, listen, I'm a young, new young manager, so uh, who plays a different way, who's been in Australia, so it's good to pick, uh, pick your wits against different people and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing them. And just a quick final one for me, obviously last week you got Chris Kane back in the, the starting 11 and just how good is that for you as a manager to have him available to, to start now and also for him as a player to be able to, to go back in and to start in games? Yeah, it's great for us. I think all the options available to us is, is great. I think the more the merrier. I think uh, you can see what he brings to the team. He leads the line very well. So, uh, no, I'm delighted for him as well. I think it's been a long time for him being out and he'll be very frustrated but you can see that he's got that spring back in his step and uh, he's looking forward to it, so hopefully he can start chipping in with some goals as well now. Great, thank you very much. Cheers. We were reading um, that you've uh, got a young lad on the bench on Saturday who you've decided not to send out on loan, Fran uh, Franjak. What can you tell us about him? Oh, he's a bundle of energy. He's uh, got a, a lot of quality as well. He's a uh, box-to-box -box midfielder, but he can play everywhere. Uh, so we're really excited about him. I think... Uh, uh, it's one of those, it's, it's just when it's going to be the right time just to put him in. I think uh, he's been excellent in training and the bounce games that we've played in, he's, he's been very good. So, no, we'll keep a lid on him at some point, but sometime I'm going to just have to let him go and, uh, and play. And It might be this weekend, uh, but you never know, we'll see. Well, I think we'll, we'll, we'll put him in when we feel the time's right. But a thrill for the laddie to, to get a, a seat on the bench on Saturday. Yeah, I think so. I think it's 16. I think, it, listen, if he, if he was... Uh, if he'd been 16 earlier, he would have played in the League Cup because he was that good. He, he's been very good, he's impressed everybody, but uh, he wasn't allowed to play in the League Cup because he was only 15, so he's only just turned 16. So no, we're really excited about him, but it's important that we, we dip him in and out when, when it's time to play, he'll play. And you've 
must have a load of, of guys coming up. The the academy seems to be kind of getting really successful. Yeah, the, listen, the, the young boys are doing well. I think you've probably seen from the League Cup that some of them aren't quite ready and uh, I think it's probably about dipping them in at the right time and probably not putting too many in at the same time as well. I think if you put them all in at once, uh, yeah. it becomes very hard for them. So, no, we're happy with the academy and uh, uh, long may it continue and hopefully we can get a few more that uh, play in the first team. And your under-18s had a remarkable result against Celtic at the weekend. Yeah, they did. No, it was good. It was good for that, good for them. And I think it's difficult when you go and play Celtic and Rangers because you never quite know what sort of age groups they're playing. So we were very young as well. So no, it was good. It was good for them to go down to uh, Barrafield and, and get a good result. And I think though it's, it's for young players, it's more about performance and how many we can get in the first team squad. I think you can maybe look a bit uh, too much into winning cups or winning leagues and stuff. It's how many we can get in, in that first team and, and how many can be a regular first team player for St Johnston. Brilliant, thank you very much.